Hello guys, here we will discuss the oscillator, type of oscillator, LC oscillator that is high frequency oscillator and in that we will learn Hartley oscillator. So in the Hartley oscillator we have the combination of two inductors and one capacitor which will form the LC oscillations, high frequency oscillations beyond 10 kilohertz. <music> We have to analyze the circuit this is the general circuit and we have to put what should be and where should be right so what should be that is nothing but l or c and where should be that we have to find found out this is nothing but l1 this is nothing but l2 and this is nothing but the capacitor c so here you note that in Colpitt's oscillator, we have discussed that two capacitors and one inductor. Here we have two inductors and one capacitor. There also I have said here again I am repeating H for Hartley and H for the unit of the inductor that is Henry. So I can say that this is resembling with maximum amount of inductors. So two inductors and one capacitor. So there always been confusion that in Colpets we have to use two inductors or Hartley we have to use two inductors. So to avoid that confusion keep this in your mind that ki H for Hartley, H for uh, Henry and Henry is of unit of inductors. So we have two inductors. C for Colpets. C is nothing but the capacitor. So in Colpets we have two capacitors. So this is how you can avoid the confusion. So now we have to find out the frequency of oscillation for Hartley and frequency of oscillation along with that we have to find out the gain for sustained oscillation. Now we'll start our analysis based on this particular circuit. In obvious case we will start with AC equivalent model. Now in the AC equivalent model first of all we have to assume that ki your Hartley oscillator is not carrying the input resistance HIE at high frequency. So at high frequency I am not considering the HIE. I will keep this as open circuit. So with that assumption I am, I am starting with my AC equivalent circuit and this is how your AC equivalent circuit will look like GM into V pi. Okay. Then I am saying that one resistor that is load resistance I have to form then inductor L1, first inductor L1 is in between collector and emitter. Inductor L1 is in between collector and emitter. So I will form the inductor which is in between collector and emitter. This is L1. Okay. L2 is in between the base and the emitter. Okay. So L2 is in between base and emitter. Here this is the base, here this is the collector and here we have emitter. Okay. So in between emitter and the base I have another inductor that is L2. Right. And obviously where C is placed, C is placed in between collector and the base. So we will draw this C as we have formed this C is in between B and C that is base and collector and here we are getting the output voltage across this L1 right. Now our job is to find out the frequency of oscillation. So we will start the derivation of the frequency of oscillation and obviously gain parameter to have sustained oscillation. Starting with this particular derivation, we will start with the KCL at this particular node with the name A. Okay. As I know that this is resistance R will acting as a load. This is the resistance and this is the current flowing through that resistance is nothing but VO divided by R. Current flowing through that inductor L1 in the frequency domain is VO divided by L1 into S. Current flowing through this particular branch as this is open circuit C and L2 will be in series. So I will have to take the reactance as the addition of both the reactances. Then that will get divided by VO. This will be the current flowing through the capacitor and the inductor L2. So let's start with this particular KCL. We will say that apply.
as I know that this V pi will be getting by using VDR because this is the total voltage, right? And that is getting divided into two components. One is capacitor and one is inductor. I just wanted to have the voltage across the inductor L2. So I will use the VDR. So we will first note this equation as equation number one. And then we will say that by using VDR, I will draw this particular circuit over here. And I will be getting this is nothing but V pi plus minus and this is nothing but VO that is plus minus this is total VO and I want to find out V pi so I will use the voltage divider rule even in frequency domain as well so we can say that V pi is equal to S into L2 divide by SL2 plus 1 upon SC right this is the parameter and multiplied by VO that is total voltage. I will note this as equation number 2 by putting 2 in 1, 2 in 1 where instead of writing V pi, I will write this whole expression so that I will get as equation, I will get equation number 1 as complete equation in the form of VO, right? So let's try to get put. 2 in 1 will get gm into sl2 will get gm into sl2 divide by sl2 plus 1 upon sc into vo that is the first parameter all the three parameters will be as it is right so VO divided by R, VO divided by SL1, VO divided by all this, this complete factor that will be as it is. So I will be getting VO divided by R plus VO divided by SL1 plus VO divided by SL2 plus 1 upon SC is equal to 0. Right? Now, if you observe this complete formula carefully, then we'll be getting VO, 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 VO in each term. So we can take this VO common and we will be, will be getting GM into SL2 divided by SL2 plus 1 upon SC plus 1 upon R plus 1 upon SL1 plus 1 upon SL2 plus 1 upon SC equal to 0. As I know that at the starting point of the oscillations, I cannot say that VO is equal to 0. So I can say at start of oscillation, VO will not be equal to 0. And obviously, we are finding out, we are tending to find out the value of F0 that is frequency of oscillation. So at the time of frequency of oscillation, VO cannot be equal to 0, otherwise, there will not be any oscillation case, right? So we will deny this particular fact that VO is equal to 0. So we are saying that if VO is not equal to 0, then we have only one option. This bracket must be equal to 0 to have sustained oscillation. Now, what you'll have to do, you just modify this equation, right? Start getting modified this particular equation with different uh, different with the different terms and you have to put the value of s is equal to j omega right once we put the value of s is equal to j omega you will find that there are few terms are real and few terms are imaginary then we can say that real term is equal to zero and imaginary term is equal to zero then only then we can get the value of this particular complete bracket equal to zero Right. So what we will do, we will equate real part is equal to 0, we will equate imaginary part to 0 and then we can, we will test that whatever value we want to find that is F0 and gain we are getting or not. So stay tuned for that.
Now your job is just to differentiate this imaginary and real part. Take imaginary part, right? Club this imaginary part together and equate it to zero. Club this real part together and equate it to zero. So what I will do, just take the first term which is either a real or imaginary that you are getting and in that you are getting confused. So first of all, take the term, accept the term in which GM is present. So that from the term, uh, GM will be getting the gain. So we'll keep that after the finding of F0 that is frequency of oscillation. Guys, now you have to take these imaginary terms together and equate it to zero. Now it's your job, you can do it, pause your screen, try to get that value. I will not start with imaginary part because GM is present, right? I will start with the real part. Now I will equate it to real part to zero. So I will find that minus R uh, is common in all the terms. So I will take this minus R outside. Whatever remaining, I will club it CL2 omega square plus 1, rather minus 1, I'll have to take. I will take this plus R outside to avoid the overwriting. Plus R outside, minus CL2 omega square plus 1, then minus omega square CL1 is equal to 0. Right? Simple case. So, we'll say that R will not be equal to 0. R cannot be equal to 0. So we can say that this minus minus I'll take it outside uh, and the right hand side. So we'll equate to 1 to omega square C L1 plus L2 and here we'll be getting at omega is equal to omega 0. We will be getting the omega 0 square is equal to 1 upon C into L1 plus L2. Here we can observe that L1 and L2 are looking like in series connection. So series combination is nothing but L1 plus L2. Hence I am saying that this omega 0 is nothing but 1 upon under root of C into L equivalent in this case because two inductors not two capacitors. So only two inductors we have. Uh, so I can say L equivalent is nothing but L1 plus L2. This is the first finding we have got as frequency of oscillation. In another word, if I want frequency of oscillation in hertz, then I can say that 1 upon 2 pi under root of L equivalent into C. That will be also the finding. I can say this will be a frequency of oscillation. So, okay. So, so far, we have got the frequency of oscillation. Now we want to move towards the gain part. I know that this is the equation for to find out the gain. That means I am equating imaginary terms to zero. We will write it over here again. Equating imaginary terms to zero and put omega zero square wherever omega 0 square is applicable omega 0 square we will write as 1 upon L1 plus L2 into C okay if you do this then we'll be easily getting the value of GMR that is nothing but the gain so let's start finding that taking J omega outside and here we'll be getting minus omega square gm l2 l1 c r minus omega square l2 l1 c and then plus l1 is equal to 0. 
if you observe carefully i will get l1 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 will get cancelled and this two terms i will take it on the right hand side j omega cannot be equal to zero i can say that j omega can't be equal to zero so this bracket should be zero to have sustained oscillation i can say that omega square right in bracket i will take this omega square as well l2 as well and c as well right so i'm taking this just omega gm uh, l2 c r plus l2 c clear nice is equal to 1 okay i know that what is omega square omega square is nothing but omega 0 square so i'll say that at omega is equal to omega 0 right i will be getting gm into r plus 1 right because l2 and c i am taking outside l2 into c right here in denominator i will be getting l1 plus l2 into c is equal to 1 right c is equal to it's a very simple thing then we will be getting gm r plus 1 is equal to l1 plus l2 on the right hand side here l1 plus l2 and divide by l2 right and furthermore we will be reaching towards the final point of the gain we will be saying that this is nothing but l1 divided by l2 plus 1 1 ne 1 here we will be getting the value of the gain so gmr is equal to l1 divided by l2 and that is nothing but the gain for the sustained oscillation so to have my circuit operating as oscillator and to get the sustained oscillation with the frequency of oscillator at 0 as 1 upon 2 pi under root of l equivalent into c and gmr is equal to l1 upon l2 i will get the sustained oscillations so here we will conclude that this is the gain of oscillator for Hartley oscillator right and here we will say that if gmr gmr is nothing but the gain gain for forward block that is a i know that according to the Barkhausen's criteria a b should be 1 so what should be the value of b b is equal to l2 upon l1 so that is another finding if someone asks you what will be the value of b so that should be obviously inverse of a to fulfill the Barkhausen magnitude criteria so here we will say that this is nothing but the gain of feedback block okay so here we will conclude with hartley oscillator with the fact that i will get the frequency of oscillation of lc oscillator hartley oscillator as f0 is equal to 1 upon 2 pi under root of l equivalent into c where l equivalent is nothing but l1 plus l2 and the gain forward gain gmr is equal to l1 upon l2 and the feedback gain of exactly inverse to forward gain that is l2 upon l1 so we'll continue this particular lc oscillations with having next types of oscillations in the next videos so stay tuned for that learn more and more edc along with me along with ekda videos subscribe this channel ekda videos if you have any doubt you can comment below that particular video thank you so much